Yes. Cheese. I hate cheese. Well, I was walking around the store today because I didn't really know what I wanted to do because this week is really short for me. And then I spotted some of this egg pasta in the refrigerated aisle, so I picked some of that up because it sounded really good. I haven't tried this brand before, but I've always kind of checked it out when I was walking by and was curious how it was. It looks really awesome, so I will go ahead and try it this time. They also have their own like brand of sauces that are on display next to it, so you can pick out whatever sauce you want to go with it. This is... Uh, I forget which one I picked out. Let's see. Mixed cheese tortellini with both spinach and egg pasta mixed together. So it'll be really awesome. It sounds good. Um, I got my six cheese mix here to top it. And then we have some steamed vegetables for the side just because those are also easy. So that'll make it pretty good to go. Um, yeah. Other than that, all of this together cost about $12, so it's not even that much. So let me go ahead and get this pasta going. Whoosh. So here we are with our water boiling. I attempted to measure out half the box. I think this is half, so we'll go ahead and throw that in. I didn't want to just pour it straight out because it'll splash on me. So now we do that. We put in our little bit of olive oil. And now we just cook it for seven minutes. So let me put the timer on before I forget because I don't know how to count. I'll turn down the heat a little bit. That's about it, now we just stir it up. Of course, while this is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get the sauce going because the instructions for this are just to heat it up over the stove. So that's pretty easy. I will get that started. Kind of multitasking now. Now that these are done, we can go ahead and dump this out and then just finish heating up our sauce and that's about it. I decided to switch burners because that side has the large burner so that'll make more sense for boiling the water. And while that is heating up for the second batch, I'm gonna go ahead and add some stuff to this Alfredo sauce because of course, this is just plain Alfredo so I'd like to add a little bit of extra flavoring into it so I got some of the minced garlic from my other recipes, which of course, you don't have to do any of this. So you could just leave it as plain Alfredo if you want, because it'll still be really good. And then just some seasoned salt and pepper. Give it a little bit more flavor. Now that's boiling, we are ready for our other half of the pasta. Whoops. Try not to splash myself putting it in. Another half of olive oil. And now we do it all over again. Now comes my favorite part. Ah, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it for making this. I just gotta mix it up and then, you know, put the cheese on top that I had in there. So. Yeah. Alrighty, so we have cheese pasta 
with cheese sauce topped with cheese. Can't really get any better than that, of course. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this if you want to try it out. Oh.